episode 11 is playoff time. I didn't expect this in 2024, but we made the playoffs. We are a wild card team getting in, facing our own division rivals in the Atlanta Braves, who got one of the other wild cards, and then our other division rivals, the Mets, got the other one. Now, at the end of last episode, if you listened all, if you watched all the way through, I kind of self roasted thinking that um, I built up hype for no reason because we ended up being the second wild card and there's three. I actually wasn't wrong. I was right to build up hype. We, we needed to have some hype because the Giants lost three straight to kind of take themselves out of it. But going into that final weekend, they were absolutely in it. In fact, we can cycle back to that time. That would be the 23rd of September. And you see here, by the wild cards, they're one back. So, and in San Francisco, or the Mets have one. Oh, wait, no, no, this is the final standing. Wait, I thought you could cycle back to the day. Am I wrong? Oh, you you can. No, you can't. This is not it. This is not it. I'm, I'm driving myself nuts here. Are these going down? These are going down. Okay, hang on. God, am I being stupid again? This is 162 for sure. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm dumb again. This is 160. So this is after this game right here, after this loss. So let's do 22 going in. Now that's going into the final series. We were a game over. San, New York tied and San Francisco was tied with the Mets. So then we win. They win. Or no, we lost the first game. Mets win. Giants lose. So now 85, 85, 84. Then we win. They lose. Giants lose. So we start to put the little separation there. And then. Then it looks like it's a little bit more uh, definitive there because San Francisco lost again. So anyway, I'm all for taking my L's, but I think I, I self I self doled an L that I didn't deserve there. Uh, but I, I honestly I wouldn't have noticed the little Z going on. That like I was so laser focused on our record, I was only eyes on this part here that I wouldn't have even noticed a little Z, even if it had gone next to our name a couple days early. Anyway. Enough of that. I'm on a little bit of a time limit, so we got to get in. The way I do this is, especially with a game, an early game in a series, we're going to get to about probably the fourth inning for sure, going half inning, half inning, half inning. And then we start to slow it down a little bit. And then usually once we get into the sixth or seventh, we go batter by batter. So let's start. We're facing Jacob deGrom, who is still amazing. He put up a 438 ERA, but a 339 Sierra, three war. You know, I'm not taking him lightly. He's not peak to Grom at 36, but he ain't no busta either. And Brad, uh, Braxton Garrett has put up an excellent season. Uh, he's probably out over his skis a little bit. My dog's looking to go out. They just went out. But hey, my girlfriend's home. She can she can handle that. Uh, 308 ERA, 130 whip, and then a 417 Sierra. We're asking, we're asking him to step up big. He's been big for us. And then we got two guys who are on fire right now after that but looking at Garrett down the stretch pretty good pretty good you know it got a little bit worse but it was certainly manageable they're really hammering that bell but I think they're outside now um and then we've got Sixto who's also ready and Holloway that all three are ready right now I wonder I wonder if we go let's go to September Kind of look at it. And listen, we're playing a little bit hot hand. These two guys are on flames. Holloway and Sanchez. I'm going to ride the hot streaks. I am. So those two are pitching. My question is, does Alcantara get the other starter? Does Braxton Garrett? And I think it's got to be, I think it's got to be Alcantara. I mean, he's the workhorse. 432 ERA, I get it. But 351 Sierra. And so what we do then is we move 6-0 to game one. And it'll go Sixto, Holloway, Alcantara. 
that's what we're doing. Because Alcantara is not ready for game one, in case you were wondering why we don't just go with him. So now it's Sixto versus DeGrom. Let's dive in here and we sort by positions to see what our comparison is. It's already doing that. Catcher, they give to them. I mean, it's by rating, so it's not like they give anything, but they're up in catcher first and second uh, by pretty hefty margins, by the way. That is a that is a substantial edge, um, but a couple game sample, we can outplay them. Dansby and Arcia for their keystone, or excuse me, that's their third and short, um, ousted by our third and short of Devers and Lopez. Quan is trailing Gallo who is wild. 32 homers, 193 average. Three wins, though, because he's quality defense and decent enough base running. He is wild. Tucker's tied with Acuna in right, or in center, excuse me. So that's, you know, we probably could have gotten an easier win somewhere um, instead of a tie just by moving Tucker elsewhere. But he is the center fielder for this game. And then Riley in right over Blade. That one's a half grade. That one's not too bad. And then this says they're giving it... So maybe it isn't just off rating. I thought it was off of rating. But I see 50-50 here. Why wouldn't this be a tie? Make it make sense. I don't understand. And, you know, I would say that uh, Burleson played a bit better than Ozuna. I give the edge to us. And then it started. They're going to get the edge as well. All right, let's get into it. I'm not too worried about all that. We'll play the games out. We'll see how it goes. I'm just going to do this, the game sound through my mic instead of funneling it in. It's, it's just easier that way for me right now. Now, I got to move these because these were all set for a different uh, screen size. Okay, so give me a moment to reconfigure that. That's the one thing about having them movable is... That if you do change screen size, you have to re-alter the whole thing. So, Or maybe there's a way to kind of level set them and then you can move them. But this was not very difficult, so I'm not, I'm not bitching about this. I want to be clear. Okay, here we go. Top of the first. We get nothing. They get one. We get nothing. Top second. They get one. Bot second. We get nothing. Top third. They get nothing. Bottom third. There we go. Come on, Tucker, get us started here. Let's do an at bat in the fourth since it's Tucker. That's going to be a base hit. Oh no, it's diving catch. And we got two back. Let's go. We're back in this. Little half inning for them. Okay, now let's get the bullpen going because we got a fully rested bullpen. I mean, Mitchell White, uh, Mitch White's 97, but close enough. And we want to be smart here. We don't want to push guys too far. I think because of the way we use our starters, we're going to be a little tighter here. Like I said, I usually go into the fifth, sixth inning with the half inning stuff. We're going to slow it down here. We'll do our batting. Speed it, sped up. Now we'll do 69 pitches. Because if I do half inning here and he has a bad inning, they'll be like, your pitcher's exhausted. And it'll just happen in a snap. So let's go batter to batter here. And kind of see how we want to handle it. Then we get a diving catch with Quan, baby. It's bot five, 2-2 two, two game, one out, facing Joey Gallo here. 0-2 oh, pitch. Got him on strikes, baby. Let's go. Two down. And Sanchez is, is looking nice here. That's going to be a base hit. That's okay, though. Two out base hit. Don't let anything come up. But we do have Acuna Jr. here. And Matty O behind him. I mean... You know, I was thinking about pitching around Acuna, but then you got Matty O. It's like, do you really want to do that? We just got to go at him. Oh, oh, here he comes. What the hell happened? Oh, that's just one pitch? Oh, I didn't go to pitch to pitch, did I? Or maybe it was always like that. I've been hitting at bat, that's why. All right, let's go pitch to pitch. Flares out to right. Got out of it. Let's go. All right. Top six. With our batting, we will not do pitch by pitch yet. That happens later. We'll just do at bat to at bat right now again, because I am on a little bit of a time limit. And if this game, if this series goes all three, and we don't win the first two, I want to make sure I get this all done in one sitting right now. All 
I got my uh, Stanton jersey on, by the way. Big Stanton fan. Pretty much his whole career. Got this several Christmases ago before he was traded. All right, we're at... Uh, that was a base hit there by Jordan Diaz. Sorry, I, I soft-sold that. Didn't say anything about it. Now we got Blade up. Top six. One on, one out. 0-0 pitch coming. And by the way, it was a Blade. Oh, oh, he looks safe. It was a Blade two-run homer that got this game tied. But that's going to be a fielder's choice right there. Two outs now. It'll be Burleson's time. And he gets a full count. And he strikes out looking. Okay. So we go bot six, and now we're just kind of going batter to batter here with Sanchez, keeping it keeping it tight, but okay, he's ready, so we can sit him, or I'll just leave him right now. Nardi should be ready too. Ground ball, fires, easy out, one away. It'll be Riley, 0-0 pitch. That's going to be flared out to right. That's, okay, I... The way he was like not doing, like not chasing it, I thought it was gone for a second there, but it is caught in right for two away. Ozuna now, 0 2 pitch, strike him out. Ah, also flared out to right, but playable for Blade, three away. And that'll retire the side. Still 2 2 going to the top seventh. It'll be Tyler Freeman, Stephen Kwan, Jonah Heim here against Jacob deGrom. 3-0 pitch. Walked him on four straight. Let's go. I want to make sure these guys are still warm. Okay, they are ready. It automatically sits them when, so they don't get tired, though, right? So, because I don't want to screw them up by getting them up too much. 1-1 one, one pitch. Ground ball. Gets past the Albies. Let's go. Uh, Tyler Freeman, Trevor third, ball's very shallow. Freeman's a good runner, but Austin Riley has a great arm. No shot. Not making the first out at third. All right, Jonah Heim is up. Take a pitch. It's a strike. 2-2. Two -two. Flight out to left. That might... Oh, that was hit almost too hard. I thought that might drop, but it'll be one away. Devers now. Takes ball one, make it 1-1. One, one. He's swinging, ground ball, the first, flips over to DeGrom, covering for the out. So no no chance for the double play there, which saved us. and will give Otto Lopez an opportunity to give us a lead here. Did he go? Ball one. Okay, we'll take another one since that was a ball. Okay, 1-1. One, one. And that's skied out to center. That's going to be playable for Acuna. And they retire the side. So, we go to the bottom of the seventh. It's 2-2 in game one of the wild card series between the Miami Marlins and Atlanta Braves. Sorry, I think that's a little too loud. Almost equal line scores outside of an error by us. So now, we're at 84 pitches. Just want to be careful here and don't want to overdo it. 2-0. To William Contreras. He's going to get that one out to center for a base hit. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Swanson now. Swanson, Arcia, then Gallo. Let's take a visit. Strong enough to finish this inning. Okay. I challenge you to do that. Well, not necessarily. Nope, you're out. Two hits, you're out. Should have taken him out after the first. I was just pushing it. Uh, so we got right, left, switch. Albies is better against... Righties? No, lefties. Hmm. Arcia better against lefties. Gallo's kind of even, I think. He's a little bit better against righties. Well, no, 15i is substantial, but that's all right. I'm still going righty. We're going Max Meyer here. We need you, Max. You got to be great. Coming in, oh, oh, pitch here. First pitch swinging, ground ball. Oh, they're only going to get the play at one. No chance to try the double play here. I mean, we tried to pitch around him. That's three-run homer. 
Maybe I should have just intentionally walked him. That didn't work. That did not work. Well. That is not great. I'm going to admit that. Wow. Three run homer by Joey Gallo in the bottom of the seventh. And now a double in the gap. Max Meyer has nothing today. Just brutal. You know, I thought, like, if he can get himself out with the pitch around, cool. If not, walk him. And we'll, we'll tack trying to get the ground ball from Albies. No shot. And then they're going to be safe on that. You got to be fucking kidding me. This is unraveling. There's a double. Can't even get the double play there. Damn. Well, this is tough. I just hate the way it happened to him. We didn't score anything last inning. That's all right. We got Tucker, Diaz, Blade. Still got six outs. Let's go. We're facing Diaz here. Who is this? Indigo Diaz. What a cool name. Indigo. Dope name. There's a flare down the left field line. That should be an easy double. I had a baby Tucker way to get it started. We need a bunch, man. Just start collecting base hits. Diaz versus Diaz. What do you say, Jordan? Two for three in the game. That one's crushed. Right at him, though. Damn. 2-2 two -two pitch now coming to Blade. And he's going to fall out. Great. And there's a ground ball up the middle. That should score Tucker. And it will. It's 6-3. You know, if we'd gotten two runs last inning, this game would be tied. Or no, it'd be 6-5, excuse me. Counting is hard. Counting, very difficult. What's Diaz all about here? What's Indigo? Okay, nice nice little uh, relief reliever. Had an excellent season. Okay, cool. Let's get to him. Let's get in his head. Ball two. 2-0 two pitch. Ah. I don't think that's got enough juice to get out, does it? Oh, my goodness. To the track there. Freeman doesn't have enough juice. So I'm not too surprised by that. All right, we go bottom eight. It's 6-3. It's getting Nardi and... Hello. Um, Holt Jones warmed up. Oh, Holt's ready. I'm just going to do the half inning here. Okay, salvage that. Nothing came of it. And now here we are. Top nine. It'll be Quan, Heim, Devers. Then Lopez, Tucker, Diaz. Because all six are batting at the very least. We're coming back. 1-0 one, one, one pitch to Quan. Ground ball. Diving play made, made by Arcia. By the way, Arcia has better defense than Swanson. Wow, significantly so. 2-1 pitch. And that's ripped to left for a base hit. And one on, one out. It'll bring up Jose Devers. Full count to him. And he's lacing that one, but damn. So many ones that we've hit, but uh, hit hard, but right at guys. Like, uh, you know, it's impossible to really tell, but some of those look like they're well struck. Okay, that's 91. That's a pretty playable. That's a pretty playable out. I mean, 99 ground ball is well struck, but not egregious this one the 102 to deep right but yeah i'm not gonna go through all of them i mean we give a three run homer to joey gallo like that's that's gonna be that's gonna be the difference one one pitch to Otto lopez that's ribbed in the left base hit there's two on and the tying run will come up it's better than nothing baby better than nothing kyle tucker batting weirdly this is bizarre do not bat like that kyle i don't kyle Kyle, you will not succeed if you bat like that. Stop that right now. Thank you. Let's take the first pitch here from Soroka. Ball one. One, one now. Let's just swing away. Two, one. That's ripped. Deep to right. Back. Gone. Three run over in the top of the ninth. This game is tied. Kyle Tucker, baby. I told you all six guys were batting. And now here comes the sixth. Let's go. 
Jordan Diaz. Mike Soroka comes in for the save and blows it, but there's a strikeout. So we'll go to the bottom of the ninth. <sighs> oh my God. And the man of the hour, Joseph Gow. Now, here's the thing that I did change that is different than real life. Um, and I've been doing it at the beginning of all my all my franchises. We don't have a three batter rule. So I can go Nardi here and then I can go Jones. And I'm fine with that because in our world, we don't care about uh, pitching changes because it's not it's not like real life where we have to wait five more minutes. So I'm bringing in Nardi for the lefty. And we're going to attack and hopefully we, it looks like we're just going to walk him. So it's going to say hopefully we don't give up a homer. And now with all these up, better against lefties. We'll go to hole. Oh, wait. I didn't change it in this one. All right. Never mind then. I did not change it in this one. I thought I did it at the beginning of everyone. Did you hear how confidently I said that? Like, that is something I customarily do. I never forget to do it. And I clearly don't have it on in this sim. And you can tell because it's the first game I've played because we haven't had any playoffs. So this is the first actual game I've played, and now this is what I'm finding out of my catastrophic mistake. And we're probably going to lose the game because of it. 3-1, they're going to bunt him over. Get it throw to second. <laughs> I know the action doesn't always match how the play actually is. It looked like we had to play at second, though. This is terrifying. I mean, I don't really want to face Matt Olsen. But if Matt Olson beats us lefty lefty, that's fine. I'm not letting Acuna beat us. Like I just can't. Two two now to Olson. Ground ball. Flips a second. Get that out of your glove back to first, man. Make no mistake, y'all. We're upgrading uh, shortstop defense this off season. Come hell or high water. Fifty five. Nah. You now. You need sixty five to get in the door on this team. Starting in 2025. 65 is, is the base consideration. Unless you have like 70s everywhere else, then maybe I would allow like a 60. But I'm up the range. You just have to be so much better now. But now it's Tim Locastro. And he's got to face a righty. We can bring in Holt Jones now. And it's four right it's righties the rest of the way of this lineup here. Let's go. Do not let Tim Locastro beat us. Foolish baseball would be losing his mind. All right. And it's his it's Braves, too. It's his Braves. Golly. Okay. We get another chance here. Top 10. J.J. Boudet, Alec Burleson, and Tyler Freeman against Sean Newcomb. We'd like to nuke him. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not taking out Boudet. I just want to see what is on our bench. For a lefty situation, perhaps. Am I taking a Bude? Bude. Bude held his own against lefties. In fact, got on base a good bit by taking his walks. He really wasn't that bad. And in a situation like this, he's just not getting taken out. 2-2 Two -two from Newcomb. Here it comes. Game one. We're top ten. And that's a base hit. A massive three-run shot by Kyle Tucker in the top of the ninth has us tied and playing extras here. Burleson, now he might not get the lefty. He's an 84 WRC plus against them. He goes down five, five, even, even, five. Not that much. I mean, you know, half grade though, I guess, you know, they start to add up because he is a good bit worse. But, like, is Rokio worth it? I mean, Rokio didn't do anything against lefties. Peraza didn't play in the majors enough to have splits. And then Miranda. Miranda should be better against lefties because he's a righty. And his ratings are just as good with a five-point five, five point better um, avoid Ks. But he's markedly worse. And a lot of our guys were. 
I'm just going to keep Burleson in. I trust him. He's got power, too. If he catches one, two-run homer would be insane here. Oh, oh, pitch. And that's going to be a line out. A little flare. A little flare out. Bump me some little flares. Tyler Freeman is going to... Oh, I don't know how that wasn't a double play, but good. We like that the action doesn't match the sim there. Uh, because that was like he had ample time to throw the double play. 0-2, struck out. All right, so we don't do anything in the 10th. We go bot 10 now. It'll be Ozuna, Contreras, and Swanson against Holt Jones. And it's Holt's game right now. And Tanner Scott, if the top, you know, if we get deeper into this, that's a base hit, just like we opened the inning, though. Base hit past the shortstop. 1-2 now. Ground ball. Another base hit past the shortstop. God. No wonder Otto Lopez's defensive numbers were such trash. We're seeing it live in living color here. This is bad. 1-1 one, one pitch. Oh, bunted foul. Who is this guy? Oh, Schwellenbach is the pinch runner. Spencer Schwellenbach. Oh, he's a pitcher. But he can run a bit. Oh, that nice. That's a nice little fancy extra, you know, um, asset that he can deliver. That's keen. 2-2. Two, two. Gets away from him. Oh, they don't go. Thank God. Way to make a play, Jonah. Full count now. Here it comes. Ground ball. Pass to Lopez again. He's so fucking bad. Oh, he's so bad, y'all. He has no idea what he's doing out there. They're the same, but out of sheer anger. I'm shifting. I'm shifting them. Their ratings are the same, but just because I don't want to see Otto Lopez's face at shortstop anymore. Well, infield arm is five points different. I don't care, though. Who's at third? Devers? No, nah, fuck it. We're putting Devers at short. Lopez at third. Three minutes, second. Maybe Devers should have always been. He's got a 60 at least. That's a, That might be an error on my part, y'all. I might, I might eat that one there. All right, here we go. We're in deep shit. Ground ball, throw home. Back to first. Got him. Ah, <laughs> we needed that double play so badly. All right, we need another ground ball here. Look who's up. Everyone's favorite butthead. I'm not laboring at all. Be that as it may, good sir. Be that as it may. Gotta be Tanner Scott time. It's just gotta be. I know all these weights on deck, but for Gallo, the man of the hour, because if it, if Gallo does something, it doesn't get to Albies. So we got to focus on the man in front of us. We need a ground ball so badly. 2-2 two, two, or a punchy. Give me a punchy, too. I'll take a punchy all day. Got him on strikes, baby. Let's go. one -oh pitch. Ah, oh, shit. And ball game. Ozzy Albies. Damn. Hard fought game, but in the end, not enough. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. The thrilling comeback in the ninth with Kyle Tucker's three run homer. Hell of a game, but it wasn't enough. All right. First things first. Let's move that. And we'll leave those the same. Flip it for those two as well. Damn. A miffed. A miffed, y'all. Could have stolen that game. And now, backs against the wall. Notice they're all in Atlanta, too. That is by design. You know, got to get the higher... Uh, got to get the higher seed if you want home games in that first round. Although I will say, as a cash-strapped team, I am seeing some of the uh, some of the significant downside of of that setup. I'm like, damn, no home game for us. That blows. All right, um, not Braxton Garrett. We said no Braxton Garrett. It's 
And no regrets with six, though, by the way. You know? He pitched well. Gave up an unearned run that otherwise quality start. Six strikeouts, zero walk. Like, he's, he was fine. He competed. He competed. Meyer, Meyer screwed up there a bit. And uh, one of those runs uh, that Sanchez gave up was on the three-run homer by Gallo that Meyer allowed. In fact, it was two homers by him. He allowed one in the first off of six, though. So Joey Gallo was doing damage in more ways than even I realized. All right, game two. Sandy versus Nola. Even our switch, it doesn't really change anything because we just flip those guys and these guys are both 50s. So I guess we win one where the ratings equal as well, 50 and 50. So I don't know what the hell is deciding it. Again, because this is a tie, Tucker and Acuna, but then the 50-50 isn't a tie and neither is this 50-50. Whatever. Those are just fun anyway. N nothing to really get too hung up about. Oh, you know what? Cancel. Can I change the the rule right now? Kind of janky to... No, okay, good. Do it in the offseason. Kind of janky to do it in the playoffs, but I am going to do it after this season. Because the main thing that that meant, was meant to do really was to like speed up the game. And the thing was, I think it was Tom Verducci who wrote a whole column on it, or Ken Rosenthal. He had found, whoever it was, had found that the, the loogie... Uh, lefty one out guy that that was basically trying to to thwart had already been kind of taken out of the game teams were already not really using the one out guy all that much so in typical uh, MLB fashion they fixed a problem that wasn't there all right game two backs against the wall here on a uh, something afternoon I would presume well no I shouldn't presume that I'd say early in the playoffs it can be a weekday I was gonna say Saturday guess we can try to find out here it's a Monday even Monday September 30th yeah in those first rounds there's day baseball for the playoffs, which I like personally I know some people don't love it all playoffs at night all the time nah, I'm fine with it but I also work from home I write and talk about baseball for a living I'm very 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 lucky that my job is to you know, whatever those games are watch them so believe me i understand the uh the amazing fortune okay here we go a couple half innings here nothing for us in the top nothing for them in the bottom they get one in the bottom of the second all right we're being no hit so far let's try to get through the bottom of the fifth here 62 pitches for alcantara we'll warm up somebody just in case because if this inning got away from us, then he'd be exhausted with nobody warmed up. All right. So, we're down one, top six. Nola pitching a no-hitter. He's thrown 53 pitches through five. Wonderful. Let's take a pitch. Misses wide. Oh, I turned it way down. Sorry, my bad. 2-1. Get down. Let's go. Get your no-no out of here. No, no, no for you. Two zero 0 now to Jonah Heim. And now it's full. Ah, and he struck him out. Ran the count deep. At least, you know, at least get a deep count on him if you're going to strike out. Get a little something. You know, get, you might have lost the the battle, but leave him with a few cuts. Now it's 0-2 there. I took two pitches, kind of sold him out, and then it's three straight pitches for strikes there. So maybe I got a little too take happy. In fact, let's just do that. 1-2, get up the middle. Wait, <laughs> you had to dive for that? That was such a weird slow roller. <laughs> the action definitely did not match how that was supposed to be played out but we'll take the infield hit with Lopez and now Tucker with an opportunity with two outs we will take first pitch here it is a strike full walked him let's go bases loaded now huge opportunity for Jordan Diaz take the first pitch strike 0-1 
Oh, that gets away. That's going to score a run. Let's go. That happens to me so many times. It's nice to be on the other end of it for once. Holy smokes. Take another pitch here. Ah, I should have taken that one. Okay, one, two. Ah, struck him out. Okay, got a little two take happy, but we tied it up. We tied it up. Now Alcantara back out for the sixth here. 71 pitches. He's definitely going to keep going. Matty O. Laced into the gap for a double. Damn. Don't love that after we get the run back. But okay. It'll be Riley now. We're going with the big guns. The next reliever will be one of the two stoppers. And they're going to try, you know, they're going to go for a while, ideally. Full count here to Riley. Tapper to second. Makes the play easy out. But one down and the go-ahead run 90 feet away. So... Struck out Ozuna. Let's go. It's the Contreras now. Full count. Got him on strikes, baby. Alcantara battles back to strand the runner at third. It'll be top seven now. Bleday against Nola. Nola's up to 82 pitches. I like the, the sun setting and everything. That's nice. Good effects. I like that they have the real stadiums too, of course. Damn, strikeout for us. Sorry, I was taking a drink. It'll leave it up to Burleson with one out. One-two pitch coming from Nola. Struck him out. Seventh punchy of the day, and it'll be Tyler Freeman. 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball to third. Looks playable and is to retire the side. So three up, three down for the Marlins in the seventh. We go bot seven. It'll be Alcantara, or, or excuse me, uh, Alcantara's pitching to Swanson, Arcia, and then the top of the order for Gallo. These guys should both be ready. All right. I think we're going to try to get these last two batters and then bring in Rodgers for Gallo. There's a strikeout. 0-1 now. Ground ball past that of a diving Devers for a base hit. So he gets one of the two, but it's 95 pitches. It's a great outing, and that'll be it. I've got another couple batters left in you. Good to know, but unnecessary. We're going to go to Trev here. Trevor Rogers has had a tumultuous season. The de facto ace of the team was eventually removed after 10 starts with an 816 ERA and 177 whip. Despite some decent underlying skills, he just couldn't get anything going with a 342 Babbitt, 2.7 homer nine. So he was moved to the rotation or to the bullpen, excuse me. And in 32 innings, he put up a 306 ERA, 136 whip, still running a little high on the whip with a 352 Babbitt. Our team defense definitely playing a role in that. It will be addressed this offseason. But um, 259, 258 Sierra. I should say that skill interactive ERA suggesting that the, the skills were really much a lot back. Excuse me. We're a lot more back on track in the bullpen. And now he gets Joey Gallo. Oh, two. Come on. I'm ready to ring him up. Boom. Let's go. It'll be Albies now. Oh, oh, pitch. Albies swinging ground ball to second. Freeman gets it. Fires out. So. They get a, Braves get a runner, but do not score. It's 1-1 going top eight. And it'll be Indigo Diaz coming in again. He pitched in yesterday's game. Gave up the three-run homer to Kyle Tucker. Let's see what he's got this time around. Tucker looming. He'll be the fifth batter this inning. 2-0 to Quan. And he skies that one to center. Playable for Acuna. One away. 1-0 pitch now to Heim, who's 0 for 2 on the day. That one's skied deep to center, but not deep enough. Acuna will put that one away for the second out. And it'll leave it up to Devers. Indigo looking for a quick inning. He'll bring an 0-0 pitch here, his sixth of the inning. And that's ripped in the right base hit. So Devers extends the inning. And now it'll be Otto Lopez. And guess who's on deck? 
Diaz is sweating. Let's take a pitch. Oh, he's going to throw over at Lopez. We're not going anywhere, I'll tell you that. 1-0. 1-1. Make it 2-1. And that's cracked to center. Destroyed. Off the wall. That's going to hit the base of the wall. Are we going to send him? No. They get the ball in. It'll be a double. But we're going to have two on, one out. And would you look at that. It's the rematch. Just last night in game one. Last night in this universe, of course. Tucker hit a three-run homer off into go Diaz to tie the game. Braves eventually won. So, you know, they picked up their boy. But now we can maybe blast them again here. And look at look at the middle of the order. They need to do something. They need to do something. No time like the present here. Let's take the first pitch. Fastball for a strike. Make it 1-1. Ripped into the gap. Kyle Tucker's done it again. That's going to be a two-run double. The Marlins are winning. 3-1. to one. In the top of the eighth. Kyle Tucker is going to be Indigo Diaz's sleep paralysis monster for the entire offseason, especially if they win the, if the Marlins come on to win this series. Still got a lot of work ahead of them, including the Diaz versus Diaz rematch. 1 2 now, and Jordan strikes out. But Kyle Tucker does the damage again. It is 3 1. He gives his team a lead this time around, and Trevor Rogers will be asked to hold it. 2 2 pitch to Acuna. Got him on strikes, baby. Yes, that is, and for my Tigers fans out there, that is an ode to Dan Dickerson, the old got him on strikes call. I love I love his strikeout call. It'll be Matty O now against Trevor Rogers. 3-0 pitch. Come on, man. The lefty-lefty. You can't walk him on four straight. 2-2 Two -two pitch now to Riley. With, who's, oh, he strikes him out. I couldn't even get out that he was the tying run before the punchy happened. One on, two outs. 2-2 Two -two pitch to Marcelo Zuna from Trevor Rogers. Got him on strikes, baby. So he strikes out the side around a four-pitch walk to Matty O. We go to the top of the ninth. 3-1 Marlins in game two of this best of three wild card set. It'll be 2-2 Two -two pitch now to Boudet. Struck out. Now it'll be Drew Pomeranz. Why didn't they bring in Pomeranz to face Boudet and Burleson? That's goofy. 1-1 one -one now to, to uh, Burleson. And he's going to drop that one in the center for a base hit. Kind of fisted it. Freeman now. 2-0 pitch coming to him. And that's going to be dumped in the center for a base hit as well. They're just kind of soft serving him in front of Acuna. 0-2 pitch to Quan. Cracked to center. Oh, but skied high. Sounded good off the bat. Didn't end up really being much. Ooh, and we get second there. Burleson. Out here tagging. Got runners on the corners now with two outs. 2-1 two pitch to Heim. And that one. Oh, Albies with a great snag on the line drive. Okay, we go bot nine. We're trying to close this one out. I'm leaving it to Rogers right now. I'm going to get White warmed up just in case things get sticky. But we're ready. 0-2. Struck him out on a nasty pitch. Where was that? Ooh. Up and in a little bit there. Hey, we'll take the call. Full count. Got him on strikes. That's five straight punchies for Trevor Rogers to finish off the game here. 0-0. Oh, oh. Tapper to short. Devers up. Fires. Ball game. Tied. Series tied at one. We will have a decisive game three tomorrow here in Atlanta. Let's go, baby. And it's Kyle Tucker with a massive two-run double off Indigo Diaz. Don't think we'll see Diaz in game three. He had a brilliant season, but the playoffs have not been kind to him. They scored off a Swanson double back in the first, or excuse me, in the second for their lone run. And then our other run came via, oh, it was the wild pitch. It was the wild pitch that got us our first run, right? So, okay. That was awesome. Game three now. All right. Jordan Holloway against Spencer Schwellenbach, the sick pinch runner. 
Oh, you know, one thing I didn't do, and I'm sorry, I should have done this before the series. But uh, let's take a little, let's take a little meet the Braves here. We've, we've seen a lot of their players, but like, let's meet Schwellenbach specifically. He is a 60, 40, 45. Through 100 innings, 100 and a third. 404, 141, not bad. You know, a little swing man action with 20 starts, 10 relief appearances. Pitched some decent innings. Kind of surprising that he's their third starter in the playoffs. Looks like, uh, you know, they're just not trusting some of their other guys who are starting. Let's see here. Like, Soroka got pushed to the pen. I mean, he wasn't much better, but four innings. And then Anoa was bad. Ian Anderson only barely started this year. Strider not panning out like he is in real Well, actually, even in real life, like, He's not like a full-on guaranteed starter or anything. So, But anyway, it is surprising that it's Schwellenbach for them. But let's uh, let's meet the team as we go into this game three here. They, their premium talent are the guys that you know with Acuna, the top guy at center. Uh, Matt Olson at third, or the third, sorry, the third best guy at first. Joey Gallo, the sixth best left fielder. And Albies, the 10th best second baseman. Uh, those are their infield studs. And then, of course, Austin Riley, 8th guy in right field. Pardon me. So their outfield is just studly as hell. And, of course, DeGrom, second best starter in the league. Newcomb even gets 5th best reliever. I don't know what determines that. I'm sure there's a ton of 55 relievers, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not bitter. Actually, I don't even know what, what, our, rank, what our ranks look like. We got Mason Thompson, who's sixth. He's also, or seventh, he's also 55. Our best guys are Edmund, 14th. Otto Lopez, 14th. And, of course, Kyle Tucker, second behind Acuna. So, but yeah, just a quick overview of them, the, the Braves. They're all about that pop. Fourth in slug, sixth in on base, eighth in batting average. They're not worried about batting average. They're here to mash. Extra base hits and homers, first in both, second in walks. Traditional mashing team, 14th in strikeouts. The direct opposite of us, basically. Their pitching is solid, but certainly not, not what carries them. And then you compare that to us. We're first in average, 7th in OBP, 8th in slug. So we're out there, hits, 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 no strikeouts. And then our pitching is a bit better than theirs. More or less across the board, except our BABIP is 11th. And that's a big issue is our defense. Their BABIP's 14th, so they're pretty bad too. But we're going to trust Jordan Holloway here. And um, he's been awesome. He has a 266 ERA, 103 whip as a hybrid, 53 games, 11 of them starts. As a starter, he hasn't been quite that good. But 340, 109 is awesome still. He just hasn't been like 266, 103, but he's still been very good. And that's why he's getting this start, frankly. And we could put Braxton Garrett in the bullpen so we have him if we need him. Because it's all hands on deck here to get to this, to get to this next round. So let's do it. Let's play game three. Spencer Schwellenbach against Jordan Holloway. What do we get an email about? Helsley. Got the Pitcher of the Month award. Good. Th thanks for sending that right now. I, I, I did need that. That is true. Thank you. They call it a tie here. Fair enough. And they don't have a DH. Wait, seriously, what happened to... What happened to Azuna? Are they not playing a DH? Is Schwellenbach... Oh, does he play for himself? Is he a two-way player? He's a full-on two-way player. We knew how fast he was. I didn't even pay attention to his hitting. Wow, they let him hit for himself. Did he Did he hit well? No, he's dreadful. All right, so they're giving up... Sweet, they're giving up an at-bat. I love that for them. Sick. That's kind of dope. Seriously. I'm being part sarcastic because he's not that great of a hitter, but also it's, it's kind of cool to see another two-way player. All right, here we go. Game three. 
now there's one back. I want to see him bat. So we get nothing in the first, but we had four hits. Oh, guys, guys. Strikeout swinging, double, single, and he gets thrown out at home by Riley. Single, single. That's how it happened. Okay, I was like, how do we not score there? Damn. Damn. They get a hit, but nothing. We get five runs. Oh, baby. Solo shot when we hit the Quan. Strike out Heim. Single Devers. Double Lopez. Three run shot Tucker. Solo shot Diaz. We ran Schwellenbach. My man didn't even get to bat. So now we'll speed it up a bit. But not too crazy. We still want to be ready in case some <clears throat> excuse me, in case something happens and we need to turn to our bullpen in the middle of an inning. I don't want to be caught slipping. Now, how many batters has Jordan Holloway faced? <clears throat> 18. So, we have mine a 21 limit. We'll push him this inning here. They do have two runs now, by the way. Okay, he, he got 21. So, he went three up, three down there. And we're going to... We're going to... We're going to see. Hang on. We'll, we'll play our half inning here. We're not... We're not uh, out of the woods here. Like, this game is not over or anything. So, I don't want to pretend like it is or act as though I think a 3-1 three, three run lead is insurmountable so let's not get cute here let's play this out the way we normally would in the sixth inning here so we don't find ourselves like down four all of a sudden from pushing it too far in fact Mason Thompson I appreciate that you're warmed up but I'm going to turn to white here and they got Matty Odu up I might go Garrett for Matty O, Riley Contreras, and then White for the final three is what I'm thinking. But we'll see. Full count there. Take a walk. Let's go. They don't want that smoke from Tucker. Diaz, 0-2 now. Ah, got him on strikes. It'll be Romero. That's like their fourth, fifth pitcher, right? Fourth pitcher, Fernando Romero. Remember him from Minnesota when he first came up? Thought he was going to be something big. Is he still in the minors? Two two. Little tapper. Ah, make the oh, it's an error. Oh, it's gonna be second and third. Two outs. We got a chance. Oh man. Matty O with a terrible play. Burleson make it hurt. One one. Ground ball. Oh, that sounded nice off the bat. Like it was crushed, but it was a little. Little grounder up the middle, easily played. Okay, here we go. Holloway. He gone. Who do we have? Garrett warming up. I just want to see what he says. You still got some zip? I, I appreciate that, but you don't, and you gots to go. All right. Bot six, 1-0 pitch coming from Braxton Garrett, the lefty, to Matty Olson, the lefty. And that's sky to center. Looks playable for Tucker. He scurries over and makes the play. One away. Oh, 0 pitch. That's blasted deep to right. That's caught. Look at where the guy ran up to. That's hilarious. I don't think you can go up there, Quan. All right. So 3-2. It's okay. It's okay. We knew it was a little risky pitching, pitching Garrett to the right. He's coming up after Olsen. That's okay. One run will be fine here. Get out of this. 2-1 pitch to Swanson. Ground ball to short. Fires. Out. Okay. One run. That's that's all good, baby. That's all good. Now, Romero staying in. He's going to get Freeman, Quan, Heim. And then we got Mitch White ready coming up next inning. And hopefully to close this sucker out. That's going to be dropped into right for a base hit. Ground ball to short, flips to second. No relay for the double play, though. So fielder's choice. It'll be Heim now. Oh, oh, pitch. Oh, and he gets hit. That'll be two on, one out. Full count, lefty, lefty here. Sean Newcomb to Jose Devers. That's going to be... Okay, that was grounded up the middle, and then it kind of skipped there. 
Do you want to signal Quan to round third and try to score? Ball's very shallow. Quan's good. Oh, yeah, no, we're not running on Acuna. Are you kidding me? Get out of here with that, my man. Let's take a pitch here from Nuke. Didn't go. Let's go. All right. One, two. Struck him out looking. Damn, Lopez. Lopez, what are you looking at? Fastball. Down the middle. Down the middle, like. What were you expecting? All right, Tuck. I trust you. 1-0. And that's going to be flight out to right. Damn. Wanted some insurance there. We have 13 hits. Kind of wish we had another run or two. If not, eight. Okay. It's Mitch White time. So they're keeping Schwalenbach in at... Oh, that's right. He can stay in. I forgot about that. I said he's not going to get an opportunity to bat. I was dead wrong, y'all. So he has bat. He's actually one for two with a run scored. Damn. Damn. Okay, well, we'll see his at-bat here against uh, against Mitch White in just a moment. one pitch coming. Ground ball to second. Flips to first. Easy out. One away in the bottom of the seventh. It'll be Schwellenbach now, the pitcher, who had a very rough day. Now he's in for the DH. He's going to sky that one to right. Two away. And it'll be Gallo. A nemesis here with a couple key homers. He's only hitting 167, but it's probably two for whatever with the two being his, his homers. Yeah, two for uh, two for 12 there. I forgot we played them three games in a row to end the year, so we've seen a lot of this team here in the last uh, week plus. All right, come on, Mitch. You got this. 0-2. Oh, ah, I was ready to... I was ready to ring him up, y'all. I was getting my... my. I'll save it. I'll save it. I, I don't get to use it because it, it wasn't a strikeout. But I was pff, I was winding up. All right. Diaz, Boudet, Burleson here against Newcomb. 0-2 to Diaz. Looks like a punchy. And it is. Boudet, 2-2. Punchy. And then Burleson, 2-2. And he's going to rip that one into left, but it's a sliding catch in left center field for the out. All right, bot eight. It's still 5-3. 0-2 pitch. Mitch White to Albies. That's laced. Deep to right. Back. Gone. 5-4. Rut row. Rut row, Scoob. Actually, Scoob is the one who said rut row. So it doesn't really work. Unless he's talking to himself. Oh, oh, pitch now to Acuna. I'm terrified. Ground ball to second. Freeman up. Fires out. It's 5-4. Bottom eight. One away. We're obviously going to get some guys warmed up. I believe in Mitch White, but doesn't mean I'm not going to be prepared if we have to make a change, right? There's no sense not being prepared. 0-1 oh, pitch coming. Olsen, skied. Deep to center. Sounded good off the bat. Never really went anywhere. Two away. It'll be Riley now. 2-2 two, two pitch. Hit to left center. Looks like it's going to land for a double. That was awkward. The way the two guys were converging on it. I, I wanted to say it looks playable, but neither of them was really getting under it. So then it turned into a double. All right. The tying run is now at second. Feel good, I really do. Okay, I believe you. That that I really do at the end. Are you trying to convince me or yourself? 1-0 pitch. Uh-oh. That's a two-run shot. We're losing. Wow. Wow. Huh. Would you look at that? Mitch White. Guess you weren't all that ready after all. That's tough. That is tough, man. Bottom of the eighth, three run or two run homer, three runs in all, and now we're down one. And it's not feeling good. It's not feeling good. I don't really trust you, Mitch. You're out. 3 0 pitch. Gonna immediately walk somebody, too. Great. Great. The guy with 
that 7% walk rate opens up with a 4-pitch walk. We love that. 1-2 pitch. All right. Struck out. Okay. All right. We need a top of the ninth rally. We got Freeman Quan Heim. We'll be facing Soroka, who they took out of the rotation to put in the bullpen. Am I wrong in thinking that he pitched poorly the last time we faced him, right? He gave up a run in a third of an inning. That's poorly. That's all it takes. Take another pitch here. 2-0. Oh, they gave him a strike. What the hell? Look at that pitch. Oh, that's hideous. Ah, oh, jeez. Beat it out. Beat it out. Infield single. Shit. O2. Yikes. We're down to our last out. Jonah Heim against the righty. Or somebody else. I like the idea of Miranda, I think. What did Heim do against righties? He wasn't terrible, but... I'm gonna go with Miranda here. He was actually quite good against righties. Let's play our numbers here. See if we can keep it going, too. And he's got the 75, or 70. 70 avoid K. Shouldn't strike out at least. Famous last words, though. 1-1. One, one. Give me a base hit. Fuck. Oh, he boots it. Oh, we're safe. Oh, Ozzy Albies. He booted it. It'll be up to Jose Devers now. Oh, my goodness. And we can get to the top of the order if Devers can get on. Got to take one pitch at least. That's that's 1-0, right? Jesus. Well, who is this umpire? Freaking... Eric Gregg reincarnated. 0 2. That's ripped down the line. That's going to be a double. Is that going to score the run? I can't tell. Is he coming? They're coming home. Oh, it's a tie game. Oh, we're tied. Holy crap. An RBI double by Jose Devers, and they advance on the throw. It is 6 6, top nine. Otto Lopez up. We got to take one. Probably called a strike, even though it almost hit me. Oh, that one's not a ball. Finally. One, two. Drop, drop. Okay. That doesn't drop, but we tie it up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, y'all. Jose Devers. What a superhero. What an absolute superhero, y'all. Oh, I'm geeking right now. I'm going to go with hold. Okay. So we got Schwellenbach in the top of the order. God, I'm so afraid of Gallo Albies Acuna. I think I'm probably going to keep Mason in for the whole inning, though, because I mean, he's got the stuff and the, and the movement that he should keep the ball in the park. So let's see. I mean, Schwalmbach can get us too. We gotta be careful with him. Two, two. Got him on strikes, baby. One away. The Ozzy Albies error cannot be overstated. It was a routine ground ball. He boots it. Then Devers rips a double in the right field uh, corner that ends up scoring uh, Miranda, who, who was a, the pinch hitter for Heim. Full count now to Gallo. Ground ball. Playable. Oh my God, they're gonna infield single. Oh, we got him. I didn't hear the umpire say out. It's Albies now. 2-1. That's going to drop. Base hit. We got to face Acuna. Fuck, y'all. I'm so scared. All right, we just got a pitch. 1-0. That gets away. Oh, but not far enough. Eliezer jumps on it. It's 2-0 now. Full count. 
Did he go? Oh, it's a walk. Okay, I almost... Honestly, I almost intentionally walked him. Just because I was afraid, but Olsen's so terrifying anyway. I think we got to go to Tanner Scott. He loses five on power. Five on contact. That's really it. What's Scott's um, movement? It's 70, right? 65. Okay, so... Oh, wait, but against lefties, it's 75. So, yeah, we have to. We have to. 1-1. One, one. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, wow, they're giving him an error. Understandably. So we get an error, and we take advantage of it. They get an error. Full count. Don't take advantage of it. Please don't take advantage of your error. And we walked him. Oh, boy. And it's Tim Castro now. I know Bailey is rooting against us for Foolish Baseball because it's Tim Castro. I just know it. And it's his Braves. 1-2 pitch. Struck him out. Let's go. Sit down, Castro. Shut up, Bailey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Top 10 now. Kyle Tucker. Facing Soroka. 0-1. Go yard right here. Come on. Ripped. Not really. Never mind. I said ripped for that hit. Donk. 14 mile an hour exit velo. 2-0. Ground ball to first. So two straight ground outs to first. And it'll be up to Blade, who almost had a catastrophic air. 2-2. Flares that one in the left. And a diving play. Freaking Tim Castro, dude. And now I can hear, I can just hear Bailey loving it right now. Living with every Tim Castro play. Unbelievable. Um, finishing that thought from earlier, Blade had that dropped error, or that drop ball in foul territory that they gave him an error for because it would have ended the game. Thankfully, that didn't kill us. That was terrifying. All right, Tanner Scott against William Contreras. Contreras is no joke. I think we should probably just go to the righty because um, they've got four righties coming up. You know? It's not even so much that there's a huge advantage. It's just that there's four righties. Like, should I be pitching Tanner Scott against four righties? He's actually better against righties from an ERA standpoint. Although, doing an ERA against the handedness is really difficult. Like, how are you doing that? If a left-handed batter scores, does it, like, that doesn't make any sense to me. So I look at the skills. And he's still much better against lefties. So yeah, I'm gonna make the change. <laughs> My time limit has gotten blown up a little bit because of the extras, but I'm not gonna just end the video. Ground ball, easy play, let's go. I'm, it's, it's for the best reason, let's be honest. After that devastating three run bottom of the eighth, I was like, oh, we're dead. And then we just we get life in the ninth. 2-2 two, two here though. Got him on strikes, baby. Arcia, full count. Struck him out. Let's go. All right, we need to score something here. We're not going to keep them at bay too long. Top 11. It'll be Burleson, Freeman, Quan against Soroka, who can definitely give them length because, you know, he's a, he's a starter. He started most of the year. He's, he's thrown two innings now. He's got 65 stamina. Like, he can, he can go six if they needed him to. Let's not do that. That's a shot deep to right, back, gone. Alec Burleson, 7-6 Marlins, baby. What a time for your first postseason homer on an 88-mile-an-hour slider, baby. Ground ball to short. Makes the play, one away. Minter coming in now. Let's get Lewis' head warmed up. I like his strikeout rate. And then we got Nardi as well. 
and they're on Schwellenbach. It'll be Schwellenbach, Gallo, Albies. Minter now 3-1 to Quan. Ah, damn. Good play by Acuna. All right. Two outs. It'll be Eliezer Alfonso. 0-2. Don't strike out. Come on. You have like 70 avoid K. Not, that doesn't mean you can never strike out. I know that. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm just annoyed. 85. I even undersold it. That does mean you can't strike out. What's your problem? All right. Schwellenbach. Gallo. And Albies. And then, of course, Acuna lingering. Jones has been good. Not sure we're putting him in the spot to get this save, though. I think we got to go. We got to see what Lewis Head did against lefties. God. I'm clicking on it. It's like not doing what it's supposed to do. He had. Oh, he was dreadful. He walked a ton of lefties. Much better against righties. Oh, yeah. Markedly better. Okay, so I think we try to get Jones to get Schwellenbach, and then we go to the lefty for, for two. I think Nardi gets, tries to get the other two, Gallo and Albies. I think that's what we do here. 1-0 pitch to Schwellenbach, and that's going to be dropped into center for a base hit. So now they have the go-ahead run on, or the tying run on, and the go-ahead run at the dish. So awesome. Just what we wanted. 1-0 pitch. Oh, God, I'm terrified here. Unless this is a ground ball. Skied. Deep. Playable. Thank God. It's going to get him to second, though. All right. So fly out and, and in advance. It'll be Albies now. Come on, Nardi. 1-0. That's ripped. Tie ball game. Fuck. <sighs> oh, they didn't send him. Oh, we're still in this. But we have to face Acuna. Or ground ball. We'll have to walk Acuna, obviously. I mean, not obviously. I just put the winning run in scoring position. But I'd rather go lefty-lefty against Olsen. That was a tough decision. I made it pretty casually, but I think it's a tough decision. Full count to Olsen, and that's going to drop ball game. And that's why you don't do that. That's a choke. That's a choke, man. Should I face the Cunha, though? Like, I don't know, man. I, like, I don't like putting the winning run in scoring position there. That's probably why you, that's exactly why you can't do that. But do I really want to face a Cunha there? Oh, man. That's heartbreaking. Mitchell White. Mitch White. I keep calling him Mitchell. Like I'm his father. Mitchell. But, uh, I mean, he sold hard. He sold hard. All right. Roast me in the comments if that was the dumbest thing ever. If that was some Joe Madden shit there. So, single. Fly out. Runner gets the second. Single. So they're first and third. I IBB'd Acuna against a lefty, mind you, to get the lefty-lefty. Even though, by the way, OOTP, you got to stop when I hit the back button going to the top. Like, that's terrible. That's just bad uh, quality of life. So then with Olsen coming up against the lefty, I mean, he's not much worse, but he is worse. It's a better matchup. I just thought that was the better play. I didn't know he's going to soft serve some bullshit ass single in the center for two runs. I mean, it was 94 miles an hour. It was fine. I'm just pissed. <sighs> Damn, man. That was, that was an action packed series though, huh? I mean, look at this. And then in the first game, and then this one. So seven six three one eight seven. What a series! What a season! It really sucks to lose. It really, really does. 
I'm open to the feedback, though. If you think that was the most horrendous move, let me know. Don't just say it to say it if you don't actually believe it, just to roast me. But um, I, I am, I'm second-guessing it a bit. I, I don't know. I stand by it. I'm second-guessing it in that I don't think it was, like, so definitive can't be challenged. Let me just be clear on that. I did it. I stand by it completely. But I do think that there is reasonable debate to say, no, you you just can't put the winning run in scoring position there. Like, if that's your take, I'm open to it. But bottom line, it's a quality season here, y'all. We made the playoffs. We did not suck completely. We're in the yellow for fixing left field. We made the playoffs. Our division was a bear. I mean, four playoff teams. And even a 70-win team for the last place is not, like, that great. Like, that's it's great in that it makes the division even more difficult. It wasn't some 58-win team passing out wins to the rest of the division. It was tough to go into Washington and get your two out of three. So, anyway, I had a blast. I really wish we had another round coming up. That would have been a perfect capper to win that game the way we did, or the way we could have if I had closed it out. What was this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven homers in this game. What a game three. Anyway, that'll do it. Um, and we'll be back with the rest of the playoffs, the offseason. And we'll, we'll, we'll lay out the offseason groundwork and maybe get some things started on it uh, for the next episode. But thank you all so much for watching. Peace.